Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, the tech week in view. I'm Katie Scott. We've come down to the Green Man pub in London's Fitzrovia to have a quick pint and also have a chat about the top news stories of the week and what we thought of them. So it seems that the Beatles may not be taking a bite of the apple after all. Sp so the Apples and Beatles story seems to me a really, really odd one. Reuters had the news story on Monday. They were really specific about what had been done, that Macro had signed a deal, $400 billion. Where they got that amount from, who knows? And then suddenly Tuesday, there's a denial from Sony and ATV Music. And then Wednesday, Apple comes in with denial as well. Really fervent, angry, angry denials. Here's my theory. Something has been signed. Paul McCartney said way back in November, the Beatles are going to go digital. He's already got his back catalogue with iTunes. So something is going to happen, but it's just not happening the way that Apple wanted it to. You know, a big worldwide announcement, lots of press conferences, and a massive amount of coverage all over the world. Somehow, the press got hold of the story, it's been leaked, it's been in newspapers, and now Apple aren't really sure what to do. So I think there will be an announcement, but who knows when? DreamWorks is going to invest $30 million a year into 3D technology. Chief Executive Jeff Katzenberg has... So DreamWorks boss Jeff Katzenberg seems to think the future of cinema is 3D and he's pumping an awful lot of money into this, $30 million a year. But here's my issue. 3D is exciting and kids will get very excited, you know, enthused about going to cinema with their parents and sitting there with silly glasses on and, you know, watching their favourite cartoon characters, you know, maybe the characters from Toy Story 3 careering round the screen. But surely it's not something that's going to last. Kids get bored of things. You know, they'll watch that film and then two weeks later they'll want to do something else which also costs obscene amounts of money. And that's also the issue. Parents are having to fork out more, will have to fork out more, to go and see 3D films than they would for normal films. And say you've got three children and they want to go to the cinema once a week, you're not going to be able to keep that going for a very long time, are you? Because you want to feed them as well. So, yes... I think 3D will be an exciting thing, but I think it'll be an exciting thing for about six months. And I can't see Jeff Katzenberg getting a huge return on his money for much longer than that. We've been hearing rumours since Valentine's Day, but the news has finally been confirmed that Bebo is being bought. And the buyer is none other than Time Warner's AOL. <laughs> So the AOL Bebo deal was a big deal just because of the amount of money that was involved, but it's also interesting for this reason. Yahoo, in order to fend off Microsoft, was talking to each and every company it could possibly think of about possible alliances or indeed being sold elsewhere. And AOL was one of the companies that it was actually meant to be having talks with. AOL obviously has now bought Bebo for an obscene amount of money, and I can't imagine that Time Warner has much money left in order to perhaps buy Yahoo as well. I just can't see it happening. Rupert Murdoch's already come through this week and said his company was interested in Yahoo, but they're not going to go up against Microsoft. So this says to me that Yahoo's not being left with many options, that shareholders are getting fed up. They want some return on their money. Microsoft is, is stepping up now. It's actually employed a firm to, to go for Yahoo. So I have to be honest and say, I think it's only a matter of time before Yahoo's just going to have to get used to the fact that Microsoft is going to take it over and its staff may face job losses, and that's that. Pioneer is going to stop making Kuro Plasma TVs. The announcement came after the company admitted losses of around £70 million for the last year. Pioneer will still sell Kuro Plasma So I think people got a bit overexcited about this Pioneer story simply because the company's made a loss. It doesn't mean it's going to disappear. And the fact that it's teamed up with other manufacturers to then make its plasma panels for it, that's actually not that much of a big deal. It had already done a deal with Sharp to do the same for LCD TVs. And it's not the only company that's done that. We've been covering these sorts of stories now for about a month and a half. It's just a massive consolidation that's going on in the TV market. So I'd say Pioneer, massive brand, massively popular, so well regarded across the world. They've made the decision that factories are too expensive, having the staff is too expensive, they'd rather not front those costs. But they're going to carry on with the Kuro brand and they're going to carry on selling TVs worldwide. So I'd say, yes, it's bad they've made a loss, but I think Pioneer is actually here to stay. 
That was our rundown of the biggest stories of the week and what we thought of them. Join us again on Monday for the usual news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.